Welcome to Dining with Dan. Tonight I'm going to make cheese stuffed meatballs. Okay, so to get this dish started I'm going to preheat my oven. 400 degrees. I'm just going to take a baking pan and grease that. Here I have aluminum foil over it, it's optional. It's just easier for cleanup. And I'm going to take kind of a pound of ground beef. that into a mixing bowl. I'm also going to take break that up a little bit. Here I have a 90-20 ground beef. Next to ground Angus. Then I'm going to take a uh, Cup of cup of breadcrumbs. Going to take a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And first. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of Teaspoon of onion powder. And do a half teaspoon of pepper. And put it all together. We're going to take a one whole egg and one egg yolk. I'm going to pour that in there. Teaspoon of minced garlic. And yeah, we're going to take and mix this up. Here, make sure it mixed up really well. Picked up and in the meat. Just going to knead that all in. Okay. Well, from there, we're going to just want to take our, our meat. We're going to mix. Uh, we basically mix, take some meatballs. About a about a quarter cup of meat. And we're going to push in a. Here I have some uh, cheese, string cheese, cheese sticks that I've basically cut, cut up into about a three quarter of an inch pieces. I'm going to take and put those in the meatballs. We're going to put those on the pan. And here I'm using a Using a quarter cup to measure them, you don't have to measure them, you can eyeball them, I just feel like being accurate. You want to uh, get that mozzarella, get the cheese stick in there really good, and make sure you close that hole so you make it a solid meatball. You want, don't, don't want that meat, or don't want that cheese pouring out while you're cooking. The meat. 
And you probably, when you're cooking, you are going to get a little cheese that's going to probably pour out. But I mean, it's okay if a little bit does. You just don't want all your cheese falling out and it kind of defeats the purpose of a cheese stuffed meatball. It would be no longer than no longer stuffed cheese. I'm going to use maybe, maybe a little less than a quarter cup. I'm trying to make at least a dozen meatballs, or about a dozen meatballs. Looks like this is probably going to make about nine, based on the size I made them. So you do want to you want to make sure your meatballs are all the same size, though. That way they're that way they cook you. All right. From there, we're going to want to take and throw these in the oven, 400 degrees, for about 20 minutes. back take a look at them when it's done. While those are cooking I'm gonna take and turn a pot on right now start at medium high heat I'm gonna just take some marinara sauce pour that in here I just want to get that heated up so I'm going to start at medium high and then once it starts warming up, once, once the burner starts warming up, I'll turn it down to probably about medium low. We just want to let it simmer. Okay, I'm also going to take a, another pot full of water, or halfway full of water, and bring that up to a boil. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna basically make a meat, make a, make this a pasta dish. With these meatballs, you can uh, make it on, put it on a pasta. You can serve them just with marinara dipping sauce. Do uh, do whatever you like. And I guess it depends on the occasion too. I mean, if it's a, it's a party and you just want hors d'oeuvres, and obviously set them on a plate with some dipping sauce. And if you want to make it for dinner, then you'll put it on a pasta. Okay, so once the water starts boiling, we're going to take and put our noodles in there. And here, I some, uh, here I just have some egg noodles, just what I had handy. You can use, uh, you know, if you want spaghetti, so you can make spaghetti noodles, you can do egg noodles, you can do rigatoni, you can do whatever you want. It's your dish, make it how you like. Cook those noodles per the directions on the package, so probably about eight to ten minutes. Okay, so it's been the meatballs have been in there for 20 minutes, and then you should be done. So I'm gonna take and pull those out. We're gonna take and set those back here real quick. These uh, noodles still have a few more minutes. We're going to take these meatballs though, we're going to take and stick those into our sauce. Swirl those around, get those well coated. I actually turned my sauce down because I started a bit early, so I'm going to turn that back up to medium low. Make sure to get these good and coated with marinara sauce. Heat up in this marinara. These noodles are done, so I'm going to take those Drain them. I think we're about done. Let's go ahead and plate this up and try it out.
stuffed meatballs. Absolutely amazing. Fun to make. Uh, like I said, if you have a party, whatever, get together, you want to just make some good hors d'oeuvres. Probably make these a little smaller than I did. Even for uh, dinner, I'd probably still make them a little smaller. I probably made them a little bit too big. But uh, yeah, definitely for appetizers. I mean, little tiny meatballs with cheese in the middle melting. Delicious. People are going to love them. Anyway, uh, you want to try this recipe out for yourself, I'll put it down in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon.